On Mueller's uh, statement today, did he give his exact prepared remarks that he shared with Attorney General Barr, or did they differ? That's a question you'd have to ask the Department of Justice. I'm not sure on that. You Were you talking about them? Uh, no, because there was no real news in there. He reiterated the points that he'd already made in the report, um, and we agree with him. There was no collusion. There was no conspiracy, and we consider this case closed. He completed his investigation. Now he's closed his office, and it's time for everybody to move on. He's going back to his uh, private life, and we think everybody else should too. The president president and you have both said that it's case closed, but Robert Mueller was very clear that if he had confidence that no crime had been committed, he would have said said so. He didn't say so. Why is it wrong for Congress? If Bob Mueller had determined that there was a crime, he would have had a moral obligation to report it, to put that into his report. He didn't. The whole purpose that he had an investigation, the whole purpose that the special counsel existed in the first place was to make a determination on whether or not there was collusion. He came to a very explicit conclusion on that front that there was no collusion and there was no conspiracy. He couldn't make a determination uh, on whether or not there was obstruction, which means that is up to the attorney general. The attorney general, based off of, without regard to the OLC opinion, based off of the exhaustive information laid out in the report that Mueller himself put together, there was no obstruction. He worked with the deputy attorney general to make that determination. The, the attorney general made that decision without uh, the OLC opinion being factored in. He was very Sarah, clear about that. Sarah, 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 to, be, to be very clear, to be very clear, Robert Mueller said the Constitution requires a process other than the criminal justice system to formally accuse a sitting president of wrongdoing. So isn't that Congress, and how then can the president claim total exoneration when it hasn't been exo- he hasn't been exoneration. Certainly the process would be for Congress, but that's not necessary because it's already been done. They spent two years. They interviewed 500 people. They looked at over a million pages and documents, over 50 subpoenas, and made the determination there was no collusion. Again, that's the entire reason for the special counsel. They've concluded it. Just because Democrats don't like the results of the 2016 election or the Mueller report doesn't mean they get a do-over. It's sad that they they have no message, that they have no agenda, and the hypocrisy of the process that they're doing. What they're going through and what they're going to do to the country, that doesn't hurt the president. It hurts the American people, and that's unfair, and they should be ashamed of themselves for doing that. Hey, guys, one at a time. Paula. Has Congress exonerated? Did Congress exonerate the president? As the White House claims, he's been exonerated. Look, we think the president has been fully and completely exonerated based on the fact there was no collusion, there was no conspiracy, and there was no obstruction. Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. Mueller's statement didn't say anything. That, go ahead. Thank you. Um, two John. questions for you. You just laid out a vigorous defense. Well, he is innocent. Is that the bar at which you set things? We set the bar at the fact that Mueller spent two years, did an exhaustive investigation, and came back to say that there was no wrongdoing by the Trump campaign or any American. And again, uh, I repeat that we've said this before, that should be something to be celebrated, not something to be questioned. We should be glad, we should be thankful that the United States did not have a single person that was part of a collusion conspiracy to interfere with our elections. That's a great thing. That's a good day in America, and it's sad that Democrats don't realize when the Mueller report was initially released, the, what we heard from the White House was no collusion, no obstruction. What we're hearing from you today is no collusion, no conspiracy. Does the White House now acknowledge that the Mueller report didn't specifically say no obstruction? We have been very clear uh, that the whole purpose of the Mueller investigation was to determine whether or not there was collusion. He determined there was no collusion. He further determined he didn't have enough information to make that decision. It goes to the attorney general, and the attorney general, along with the deputy attorney general, made that determination and confirmed there was no obstruction. Why should people trust a political appointee, in this case Bill Barr, over a nonpartisan uh, member in Robert Mueller? We're not asking you to. Robert Mueller did 400 pages and laid it all out. And well, the attorney general made his decision based on Mueller's information. Everybody keeps forgetting that. The entire decision about obstruction was based on Mueller's report, based on the information that he laid out. He couldn't make a determination. That means it goes to the next step in the process, and they confirmed that there was no obstruction. This is real simple, and we consider it to be so crazy. Well, there there was no information laid out in the report that Mueller himself put together, there was no. Donald Trump 
What is this administration going to do to make sure that the 20 20 elections are secure. What we're going to do with the for doing is taking away from things that can actually help the American people, and that's a great disservice. I, and I think it's I